Today, we're going to explore our new Diffusion plugin, Hazy, diving into each control to show how you can achieve a softer, dreamier look for your footage. First, you need to download and install the latest version of the plugin from our website. Once done, you can locate the plugin in the effects section. Simply type Hazy into the effects search bar and it will appear. Hazy can be applied to both sRGB and log footage. For log footage, we suggest applying Hazy before delogging for a more accurate and controllable result. Now, let's dive into the controls. The controls are organized into two sections. The first section are the main controls, with visible drop-down lists and numerical inputs. The main controls are what provide the basic settings for the plugin. The second section is the advanced controls, which allows for more fine-tuning and is located within the tabs. In the Manufacturer drop-down menu, select the camera brand used for your footage, or choose a more universal gamma group such as ACES or standard gammas for non-log gammas. In Input Gamma, select the specific gamma for your footage, for example S-Log3, C-Log3, Gamma 2.4 or HLG. Next, choose your desired filter style. For better visual representation, let's switch to the Zyla chart. There are a range of different filter styles available to provide a different and unique look for your footage. These options include the likes of Black Pro Mist, Smoke, Bloom, and more. The filter strength sets the overall strength of the filter. Selecting a smaller size, such as an eighth, will result in a more subtle, tight effect around strong light sources. Selecting a larger size, such as one, will result in a more spread out, diffused effect over your whole image. The intensity slider controls the strength within the bounds of the size of your selected filter. Increase it for a more prominent diffusion or reduce it for a more subtle touch. The spread slider determines whether the effect is bright and focused or softer and more diffused. As you increase the slider, the effect becomes softer and more spread out. Let's return to the neon shot and apply those settings. Now you have the starting point for your diffusion effect. If you're looking to improve your look further, Hazy offers additional settings to help you customize the effect precisely. Each advanced section can be toggled on or off. This makes it easier to see how individual adjustments impact your footage. Using the customized response controls allows you to shape the look of your diffusion. Each filter style uses one to three layers to build up its diffusion effect. The graph contains one point per layer and the position of the points shows the appearance of each filter style. Every point based on the style has its own movement direction, which is indicated by the gray lines. You can either move the spread slider located above in the main section to modify each layer in relation to the others, or move the points individually. Now let's return to the Xyla chart and explore the customized response in more detail. Moving the points horizontally will modify the spread of each layer. Moving the points vertically will subtly adjust the intensity of each layer. The leftmost point controls the fall off of the layer closest to the light source. Drag the point to the top left corner of the graph for a bright and tight look. The rightmost point is what we use to control the background scattering of light, which lifts the black levels of the image. Dragging this point to the right will lift the brightness of pixels far away from a bright light source. The middle point is used to control the main fall off between the light source and the darker areas. Pull the point to the left for a sharp fall off, or to the right for a more gradual fall off. Let's return to the neon shot and apply those settings. Now, let's turn to the white balance section. Here, you can adjust the temperature and tint of the effect to fine tune its overall color. Quick tip. If you apply small adjustments here, you can enhance the overall effect by boosting the saturation control for a more vibrant finish. The saturation section sets the amount of saturation within your effect. You may want to increase the saturation of the effect as brighter areas will mainly appear white. To increase saturation, adjust the saturation slider by moving it towards the right. 
If the saturation control is not having the desired effect on bright areas, use the color averaging slider. It will take the average color from surrounding pixels to boost the color in the bright areas. The qualify slider controls which part of the image are most affected by the saturation sliders. Move left to mainly affect highlights or to the right to affect darker areas as well. The exposure section allows you to increase the overall exposure of the effect. You can boost the power of the effect by up to 5 stops using the exposure slider. Additionally, you can adjust the color of the lightest part of the effect with the red, green and blue sliders. Each color channel can be increased or decreased by up to 5 stops as well. The tone mapping control adjusts the clip level of the output tone mapping, giving you better control over the roll off of your highlights. Exposure Qualify controls what parts of the image are most affected by the exposure sliders. Move left to mainly affect the highlights, or move to the right to affect darker areas as well. Enable the diffusion map to visualize where the effect is being applied. This view shows the difference between the input and the output, or in simple terms, bright areas on the map show where the image is being modified the most. You can adjust the visibility of the diffusion map to suit your needs to either make the map more or less visible. You might need this if your desired effect is very subtle or very pronounced. Another useful tip is that while you're grading, if you need a hint for what any of the settings do, simply click on the help label at the top of the plugin under the logo. A box will then appear explaining what each control does. Now that we've explored the controls, let's see Hazy in action with two examples. Let's create a golden hour effect for this shot. To do it, we'll apply the bloom style to add a soft glow, starting with a 10% strength. Next, we'll decrease the overall spread by moving the spread slider left. Then, we'll increase the exposure to boost the bloom. And the shot already looks way more cinematic. And finally, we'll adjust the white balance and saturation to create a golden hour effect. We'll add a touch of red to the overall shade using the red channel in the exposure section. In this case, we can see how the temperature slider adds warmth to the entire image by affecting the diffusion throughout. To add a golden glow solely to the window highlights, apply the bloom style at 5% strength and reduce the overall spread by moving the spread slider left. Next, boost the bloom by moving the exposure slider right. Then, adjust the red and blue sliders to achieve the desired golden orange color and increase the diffusion slightly by moving the qualify slider right. Finally, move the intensity slider to the left to make sure that the diffusion is softer. Let's compare. Here's the original shot, and here it is with Hazy's bloom effect applied with temperature sliders, and here it is with Hazy's bloom effect applied with exposure sliders. For this low light shot, we'll apply the haze style at half strength. Next, we will adjust the spread using the spread slider, increasing it to 65. After that, we'll tune the white balance by shifting the temperature and tint sliders to the left to achieve a nice neon blue. Additionally, we will increase the saturation and add the color averaging to enrich color in lighter areas. By shifting the saturation qualified to the right, we can add the diffusion effect to darker areas, such as the background tubes which are currently unaffected. Finally, we'll increase the exposure slider to intensify the diffusion and move the green slider to deepen the blue in the light areas. And there you have it, a stunning neon shot highlighted by Hazy. Let's compare. Here is the original shot, and here it is with Hazy's haze effect applied. And that's Hazy! If you're ready to elevate your footage with customizable, dreamy diffusion effects, you can purchase the plugin on our website. Head to the link in our description below to get started. Thanks for watching and happy grading!